All right, so I wanna share with you today how to create a social media strategy that you can be consistent with. Now, there's a lot of advice on here about how to create TikToks, Reels, how to post consistently, but some of this advice is difficult because everybody's personality is different. If you are a business owner or you're trying to grow a business, if you're a creator and you wanna grow an audience, you have to create content based upon what's gonna get you the best results for what your goals are, and everybody's goals are different. Someone may have the goal to just grow a bunch of followers because they want to get brand sponsorships. Another person's goal may be to actually sell products or services through social media. So depending on your goals, your strategy may be different. And that's why understanding who your ideal client is or your ideal audience is, is so important because that will determine how much you should post, which platform you should post on, and what you should focus on. So the first thing when creating a social media strategy that you can stick to, that's going to be something that allow you to be consistent with is you want to decide which platforms you want to focus on. You don't have to be on every single platform. You don't have to be on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, a podcast, you know, Twitter or X, whatever they call it now, Facebook, all these different places, or, you know, Pinterest. Pinterest is another platform you can go and promote your brand and promote your offers. You don't have to be on every one. And it's really about who your ideal target audience is and also what platform do you like to be on? Which platform do you can you see yourself spending the most time on? For me personally, for my strategy this year, I'm really focused on creating more long form content on YouTube. So YouTube is my primary social media platform. And some people can even say maybe it's not even social media because it's more of a search engine for videos, but that's just another, that's another way to think about it. But my goal is mainly long form videos. And then I do plan to be posting on Instagram and some TikTok, possibly some short form content from the long form content I create on YouTube. So I can take one video and I can create five different videos if I wanna splice it up. So that's just my specific strategy, but your goals may be different. You also have to think about your target audience because that will determine which platforms you wanna focus on. So what I recommend that you do is you want to write out a list of things that describe who your ideal audience is. And in marketing, people frequently call this a buyer persona. And this is a list of different things that describe. So demographics, psychographics, buying habits, and also behaviors that your ideal audience or ideal client or customer is exhibiting. So you're going to write down things like age, occupation, gender, location, their education level, depending on what type of content you're going to be putting out. Then there's psychographic information like interests, hobbies, lifestyles, values, and beliefs, personality traits. And then there's behavioral information like which channels of communication do they prefer? Do they prefer to watch long videos? Do they prefer short form content? Do they prefer email? Are they avid email readers? Do they prefer reading blog? posts? Do they prefer to listen to podcasts or audio content? Some people may prefer to listen to things on a podcast because they're busy doing household chores like washing laundry and they could just listen to a podcast while they're doing things. So you want to understand that as well. And then also based on the demographics, if you're trying to go after teens or Gen Z, they're going to be spending more time on TikTok and YouTube and some Instagram. Gen Z and younger is not really spending a lot of time on Facebook right now. And then if you're trying to go after teenagers, they're not going to be on LinkedIn as much uh, versus someone who is looking for a job or looking to do business connections who's a little bit older. And then you want to think about like their brand affinity. What brands do they use now? Who do they follow on social media already? All right, so the next thing you want to do is you want to create content pillars. And these are topics that you're going to be rotating and talking about that your target audience are interested in and it's going to help you grow your brand and that's related to the thing that you're trying to promote. So if you are trying to sell, let's say, fitness coaching, right, and you want to talk about fitness, getting in shape, eating healthy, so you're going to be talking about those topics and there's going to be some topics within those that are subtopics that you can break out. So when you have a list of things that you can rotate, that'll, that will allow you to never really run out of ideas because you always know what to talk about because you planned it out. Content pillars also allow you to have brand consistency on your platform. So like if someone looks at your Instagram account and you're talking about just unrelated topics, they're gonna be like, what is this person about, right? Whereas if someone goes to your account and they see that you have consistent topics there, they'll be able to quickly see, okay, this 
this person is someone I want to follow because they're talking about topics that relate to me. So that's why content pillars are really important. You also want to think about for your strategy, how often do you want to post? So for me, for my channel, I'm trying to stick to a one video per week on my YouTube channel and maybe once or twice a week I'll post a short form reel or TikTok video, but my focus is mainly YouTube. I would like to also do two to three times a week on YouTube, but that's like very, very extra. But for the most part, I mainly just wanna focus on one piece of long form content. The reason why I'm sharing this with you is because if you think about it, a lot of this is based on your personality. So I personally like to do YouTube videos because I could pre-record it. I have a script I could sometimes read from. Sometimes I talk from the top of my head, whatever I feel like talking about. It just goes with my personality. But your personality may be that you don't want to be on video. You would rather have a podcast that's purely audio. Or maybe you find that creating TikToks and short form video on Reels is more for your personality you like to do that you like to just you know take out your phone and just quickly record something and then talk or not talk you can actually you can actually do uh, short form videos with without talking you can it could just be voiceless where you're just showing yourself and you have some text there but do what's going to work best for your personality and think about where you are in life you may be busy you may have family obligations and what is your schedule going to allow for and that's why i really wanted to have this conversation with you today because a lot of times when you hear people on on social media talking about being consistent they may not have family obligations maybe they don't have small children maybe you have small children and you have to work around your your children's schedule and your family schedule so think about what's realistic for you all right so i gave you some tips about some things you want to take into consideration when you are creating your strategy now i want to talk about some tools that have helped me that i use for my social media the first tool that I use, I almost use this like every single week, is Canva. Canva is really good for creating graphics. You can even edit some video on camera. You can create PowerPoint presentations. You can do all types of things. But I'm able to create things like Instagram carousels on Canva. I can also create content for Pinterest and actually schedule my Pinterest pins through Canva. So that has really helped me a lot. Another tool that I use for scheduling is Later.com. With Later.com, I can schedule to multiple platforms. So I can schedule to TikTok, Facebook, LinkedIn. I can schedule to Instagram. And I could do it all from one account. And it just allows me to just have that ease of like pre-scheduling everything. I actually have a link to Later.com if you want to check it out in the description of this video. I also use a tool called Opus Clips which allows me to take long form YouTube videos and clip them into short form content for Reels, TikTok, and other platforms, even YouTube Shorts. And it basically just, it uses AI technology to look at the parts of your video that it thinks that's gonna go viral. <laughs> and then it just like creates like five different videos, sometimes even more. Definitely check it out if that's something that you're doing. And this that one is more for people who do talking head content, like if you're talking to the camera. You can take some of your, um, if you're a coach or a consultant and you do like Zoom calls where you coach your clients, you can even take that and put it into Opus, Opus Clips to save you time and it will uh, slice up the videos. So it's been very helpful to help me save a lot of time. All right, so if you liked what I talked about today, I actually have have a free social media planner in the description of this video you can download it and it'll help you walk you through every single type of platform and help you plan everything out and write down your ideas the content pillars that you want to talk about it's all within this guide and it's a worksheet it's actually a worksheet that I put together so go to the description of the video and download that PDF and print it out if you want to and then also make sure you subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video take care Thank you.